This is Simplex method. We're going to show you how to set up the formulation of the problem. Um, given the constraints from the Rutland telephone example, we're going to put this problem into standard form. Okay, for our Rutland telephone formulation example, we're going to put it into standard form. We change the inequalities to equalities, add slack, subtract sur uh, surplus, or add artificial uh, variables as needed. And we're starting at 0, 0 at the origin, and we need things to be mathematically correct. Our first constraint is a less than or equal to, so we add slack. And so in standard form, this would come over to 8x1 plus 4x2 is plus our slack variable, which is S1, because it's our first constraints, constraint, so we call it S1, is equal to 80. Our second constraint is also a less than or equal to. So we add slack. This comes over to x1 plus 6x2. This time, uh, we're using the second constraint, so we add a s2 slack is equal to 48. Our third constraint here is a greater than or equal to. So with the greater than, we have to subtract surplus, and we have to add an artificial. So this would look like 2.5x1 plus 3x2 minus our, third, our surplus, it's the eighth, uh, S3 notation, plus our artificial. If we just had an equals to, we would just add an artificial. Oh, we don't have one of those in this equation. The next thing we have to do is roll up into our um, objective function. <clears throat> so we have 250x1 plus 400x2. We have to add our S1. We have to add our S2. The coefficients for these are 0. Now the standard form is to add 0 S3, but anything times 0 is 0. So if you subtracted a 0 S3, it would be the same. And we have to account for our artificial. We use the coefficient m, which stands for a very large number. In this case, I'll just use million. And since we have a maximization function, we subtract our m. If we had a minimization problem, we add m. 